How is this now? I'm plugged straight into my freaking router. Okay. Can't get much better than that. God, what a freaking nightmare. Here you go. Can we just finally get started? Can we started? just sit? Can we just get started? All right. Our friends are staring at us. Okay. I think we got it now. Good Lord. Seems to be much better. Good. Because it plugs. Okay. I had to. We're squatting as close to my router as possible because my, my LAN cable is only so long. Well, that was embarrassing. Gosh. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Welcome to the uh, not set up living room. It's the chaos that is our is our house. Okay. So. Good lord! What a Hello. freaking fiasco! Fifteen minutes of BS, isn't that great? That's awesome. All right. Well, okay. friends, I'm going to bring on a friend of mine now who um, offered me up this this bit in his project, and uh, it's really meant a lot. And so uh, I'm going to bring on my friend Travis Gibb. Um, hi, Travis. Hey, how are you guys doing? Sorry, sorry about that, man. That, no, I that loved it. It was a, such an adventure never going through before. this with you. It's literally never happened before unless I'm trying to have somebody on stream with me. <laughs> no, I loved it. I loved the running around, the, the commentary. <laughs> uh, I was I was deeply invested, even though I couldn't see what was going on. I was deeply invested right. of the way this is going to play out. <laughs> So um, Travis is a comic book writer, and um, I, up until last year at MegaCon, I didn't know Travis, um, but I supported his work through Kickstarter. I had he had written this book called "Broke Down and Four Dead Bodies," which was like uh, reminded me of like a Tarantino esque sort of book, and that's what really grabbed me on it. And uh, so there was four issues of that, and I had supported for it all four issues. And then one day at MegaCon last year, he came up to my table. Now, did you was it? Did you just like recognize my name? Is that what it was? Not everyone has a mustache uh, and shows it off in their profile picture on the regular Tim. I mean, I think that's a unique thing that you do. So I, I knew who you were. I knew you were local. I knew you did art. I did. I okay. didn't know if comics or what, but I knew you did art. And I knew you were a supporter of me because you have a unique name, right? Right. I figured I figured they had to be part of it though, you know, on my banner there, my name, it's kind of sure. hard to kind of hard to miss. Yeah. Um, and so Travis is like, hey, I got this project coming up, and uh, I think your artwork would be kind of cool on a cover piece. And so why don't you tell us about the book, Travis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just put out this book uh called Granite State Punk. Um, we'll talk about the other one in a minute, but this is the the main cover of the book, and it's about Zeke. Uh, I'm from New Hampshire, um, so this is uh, there's a big mountain in New Hampshire. It's a big face. If you've ever looked at a license plate, and if you haven't, you'll see it from now on. In the middle, there's this face. This face is iconic in the state of New Hampshire. So in this story, we have a recovering alcoholic who kind of talks at you, kind of SLC punk, kind of Mr. Robot-ish to your face about drug, alcohol, witches, all sorts of really cool stuff. It's a punk rock book. It's a one shot that I came out to. Uh, and I'm very, very proud of it. Um, and we had a big whole plan, Tim, of doing a punk show and all sorts of stuff that fell through. Uh, and Megacon that fell through for you. Maybe. I don't know. Megacon, they're, they're taking people now. Who knows? Uh, yeah. But yeah, so I asked you to, to help me out and, and do something really cool. Yeah. So um, do you happen to have the book? This, this thing? Look at that. This is my first time seeing it, guys. This is my first <laughs> time seeing it. This is my cover for Granite State Punk. It's got uh, Granite State Punk and the neon sign and then uh, underneath. So it was this whole thing. So I, I, I've showed Travis this video before, but I'm going to play this video for you guys right now. Now, keep in mind, this was intended to be released at MegaCon. I don't know if it's still happening. Sure. Let's see if it happens. But uh, uh, take a minute, guys, and watch this video.
So that that was a little uh, sort of thing I put together from my cover. Um, and I, the band was the Queers, who, from what I understand, might be from New Hampshire. The Queers are from New Hampshire. They're the most famous uh, punk band from New Hampshire. There you go. So perfect, right? Bingo. Nailed it. Nailed <laughs> I it. Have to, have to like, help represent the state That's of right. New Hampshire. Right. I've never been in New Hampshire in my life. <laughs> now you got to go. Yeah, right. Live yeah. or die. I mean, how punk rock is the that? Race, There's man. no state more punk rock. <laughs> is that true? There's no more, no you, no state in the United States more punk rock than New Hampshire. Their, their slogan is "Live free or die." How? What's more punk rock than that? Let okay, me give you some other enough. examples too. Uh, seatbelts not necessary. You do not have to wear oh, a seatbelt in oh. New Hampshire. Insurance. Okay. You don't need no insurance. Live free or die, mother ever. Crazy stuff happens in the state of New Hampshire. Crazy stuff. <laughs> oh, I didn't know this. The freaking uh, drummer from my band is from New Hampshire. I had no idea. He's pretty punk rock, too. Yeah. So I could see that. I, I guess we're going to have to plan a road right. trip because I got to see this face in the side of the mountain. Well, so from what I understand, the poor uh, old man in the mountain isn't there anymore, is he? Yeah, bad, bad news. Uh, in 2012, I think it was, it fell off. Um, yeah, just kind of nature took its course. And, it's and they decided not to replace it, which is super weird since they have it on every... I mean, oh, actually, hold on. Here's a, a mock of the license plate. Um, there's a light. There's a little glare, but can you see it in the face? Yes. Yeah. That's that's a, like a real picture. Uh, oh, I see it behind the yes. state area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll see it now forever when you look at a New Hampshire license plate, even on like the state quarters, you know, we have all the state quarters on that. Right. You get the face and everything. Yeah. That's and it fell off yeah. 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. It That's fell so off and uh, I'm trying to get the date. I think it's 12 years. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Fell off. Crazy that's stuff. Awful. I mean, that's, that's, that's awful. That's awful. Yeah. Um, so once again, Travis came to me and he's like, hey, I think your artwork would make a cool cover for this project that I got going on. Can we and see so the cover again, Travis? It's so good. Oh, look at that. Nice. <sighs> yeah. And the, like it says Megacon at the bottom there. The plan was for Megacon, but Megacon is being super duper picky this year. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the deal is. I have not got my a rejection from them. They have taken my money. So I'm assuming... That uh, that I I'm 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 still going to be at MegaCon. You know what I'm saying? Well, lots so, of people are getting in um, now. I saw they 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 did a first round, so people have messaged me. A lot of people are getting. In. I'm still going to be there. I'll be there representing uh, with a friend, even if I don't get. Because even me, I'm in the same situation as Tim. I my table disappeared randomly. <laughs> I'm so trying to figure that out. But it'll yeah. all work out. I'll all work out. But yeah, I do have yeah, a yeah. post him that we can hang out. And by the way, I'm just spinning that I'm throwing this at him on a live just because, you know, that's how I do. Um, on free comic book day, I'm going to be in Orlando, which is halfway between us. Um, I am sure that I could get you a table out there uh, on May. I think it's May 17th is this year's free comic book day. Let me check. May 7th, May 7th, yeah, May 7th. If you guys are available, we can check our calendar May 7th. I don't know. I don't think I have anything going. April's we, we completely gotta check our out. calendar. But yeah, 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 that yeah. Sounds like What's something we would be uh, interested in for sure. So, um, what shop is this at? It's at the Collective. It's a store in Altamont Springs. Uh, okay. So we're in Orlando. Uh, it's a nice little store, and they have a nice little setup. We just did some events out there, and I'm going to be there for Free Comic Book Day. And I'm sure that you guys can come out, and we can do something up. You know, if we can't get the MegaCon. That sounds pretty rad, actually. We'll definitely get in touch with you. On yes, that. yes, yeah. yes. Sure. We'll definitely organize our schedule on that for sure. Um, so, regardless, uh, super stoked that you allowed me to get my first comic book cover out there. Um, and uh, I have not, <laughs> so I've not actually read the book. You gave me all the line art, so I knew the visual references when I drew the cover, but they didn't have any words to them yet. So, visually, I know the story, but not. <laughs> I haven't like read read the book. You know its vibe. <laughs> yeah, I know I know the vibe of it for sure. Yeah, I'm excited well, to get my hands on a copy. I want to read yeah. it. Yeah, 
and, and this this book is very punk rock. Like it's it's very stream of consciousness. I was trying to really show someone who's going through anxiety, paranoia, and punk. Right. Uh, you know, growing up in the punk scene, uh, I loved, I, I was always like a, the neutral party. So I was never in any party, but I always mm -hmm. hang out with punk because I love to solve the pr problems of the world. I will sit in, with anybody and just talk about the world's problems. Like anybody, and punk rocks love that. They love to talk. I mean, they don't have great solutions, but they love to talk about it. <laughs> they will talk about it till the end of time. Right. Yeah. So so I love it. And so I try to get that that in the book, you know, stream of conscience, lots of dialogue but also i mean this art is beautiful i um let me try to show this. some of the line art of this book is is just really oh. pretty um you know this is dark but you know this is a big bones of stuff i mean this is the mo gorgeous book i've ever done uh really 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 good art inside i'm very very proud of it um, so, so putting those two together is really, really cool. And I'm, I'm, this is, I'm more proud of this than anything I've ever done. So I'm very happy. I gotta give, I gotta give you credit too on, um, you know, these, these books they're, they've all run through Kickstarter. They're all self-published. You don't skimp on the quality of the paper of, of just the, the, the physicality of it. It's not the cheap, you know, some of them do like the old newsprint sort of paper right. on the inside, stuff like that. Like you produce very quality comics. Yeah, thank so, you. Yeah, yeah. This is high gloss. Uh, it's 70 proof of the paper. It's uh, very, very good, which is, by the way, that stuff's really hard to come by right now because there's a paper shortage. Yeah. So I had right. to reserve it and pay for it in advance to make sure I had it because people are getting crappier paper, not even because they don't want to do quality, just because of lack of inventory. You know, Marvel and DC yep. this week, if you picked up your Marvel and DC books, they were floppy and falling apart. They were really, really bad, like low, low grade because there's just a paper shortage right now. So absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, and that was the thing that when I asked you, I said, when do you need my stuff? When do you need my stuff by? And you're like, well, let's do it at this point in time so that I can make sure that the paper comes in and we have plenty of time to get everything done. Because, yeah, from what I've uh, from what I understand, man, the paper shortage is hitting the uh, uh, print industry really hard right now. Yeah, yeah, so. absolutely. But uh, but you did it. No, I'm proud to be on your. I'm proud that you're. I have your first cover. Um, and we'll do some <laughs> cool. We have a lot of stuff planned with this book. Uh, you know, I, we can't tell all the stuff, but Tim knows there's some behind the scenes stuff. That's all. Awesome. Oh, there's big things coming. There's big things coming for uh, sure. This I'm is kind of first you, wave. Uh, and I just started the sequel because uh, we did so well on the Kickstarter. We raised almost $10,000. Uh, yeah. It seems to really vibe with people. So we'll work on the sequel. We'll probably get Tim to do something on the next one too. And uh, we'll uh, keep yeah. doing it. Heck yeah, man. I'd be stoked to, to, to collaborate with you again for sure, man. Yeah. So Travis, if anybody wants to put their hands on that book, how would they go about getting it? So right now for this copy, Tim's copy, Tim and I are going to have to talk about that, but I'm going to get some copies to Tim so Tim can sell them directly. So through that, we're going to get that. Uh, or see me at Megacon, see me at any of the tables. Because it's so special and limited, I mean, there's all, we only printed 25. But this is it, guys. This okay. is it. And that's missing one because I took one. So there's only 24 <laughs> actually now, now that I'm doing the math. <laughs> so they're very limited, very, very small. But we did that on purpose. We wanted to keep it special. We wanted to keep it intimate, uh, you know, uh, to make sure that you got it. And we know big things are coming. So the most, it's actually the, there's one cover that's printed a little bit lower. I have a sub stack that's a little bit lower than that. But, uh, and that's 12 copies, but this is the second lowest print run of all the books. Uh, so you can get that, but um, Orange Cone Productions, our website's going to come up soon, but again, uh, I'd rather sell these at the tables or you guys sell them directly. That's the goal, but if you want any of the other covers, you can pick them up there. Message me. The best way to get them right now is I'm live with another Kickstarter because I'm crazy. Uh, Cthulhu Invades Wonderland, uh, so if you know who Cthulhu is and you know what Wonderland is, they fight. It's fantastic. Uh, we're almost funded. We're about $700 from funding. Uh, we have 532 backers. And we're at twenty uh twenty nine thousand dollars two hundred and sixty seven. That's crazy. That's amazing. That's, that's really excellent for sure. Yes. yes. Um. And so how? I mean, it's only it's only April. No, it's just about to be April. How many Kickstarters have you started in the past? Let's say the beginning of the year. Uh. So Grand State Punk was the first one. Uh. Cthulhu um, Bids Wonderland is, was the next one. Okay. After that, I have uh, Voodoo Nations three. Oh, and I have Tales of the Collective, which for that store is also live. I have two Kickstarters live right now. It's crazy. 
Um, we have Voodoo Nations 3, which is in May. We have Broke Down and Four Dead Bodies, the book he was talking about earlier, the trade paperbacks coming out for that. We have a book called Pop Van Winkle, which is a, a kind of a story that my wife wrote. It's about these dogs, kind of like stray dogs, if you like, like that stuff. So it's about a dog who, who's being poisoned. I can't tell too much about it without spoiling. I don't know what I can and cannot say, but it's cool. It's very cool. Yes, I have one. Jester Lou, J-E-S-T-E-R-L-O-U. Uh, and then I've got uh, a, a secret book in October and then Holiday Spirits in November. So six books this year, which is crazy. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love a man who can hustle like that. I, I really just want the best for you. I'm, I'm really proud to see you do well and. Um, it's an honor for Tim to be a part of it. Like, yeah, that's really amazing. Yeah, like, and 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 I lost track of of your Kickstarters, like, because uh, I uh, was part of, uh, um, I got the holiday one okay. that picked up right before Christmas, and then expired. Your yep. one of your more recent books that you just started expired popped up, and so I like lost track of of how they all line up from there, you know. And I forgot Voodoo Nation three is coming out. Um, so I'm looking forward to all that stuff, man. Cause I don't, I don't know how you stay so prolific because none of the books are the same. None of the books are the same story. None of them like, like they're not recycled. They're not recycled. They're yes, exactly. Yeah, they're so good. Yeah. Yeah. I so. just uh, actually, right before I log in, somebody else did an interview, uh, a, a review of Granite State Punk that's on YouTube. Um, and he was talking about it, how none of the books have the same themes or the same feels or the same vibes. And, and that's, that's intentional. You know, I have a lot to say, uh, even though I'm a rookie, I feel like I'm a rookie because I don't have tons of books out. I started writing when I was at high school. I went to college and, and did films. You know, every film that that was done out of my film school was done by me. Like I wrote them. I may not have directed them. I know that I wrote them just because I, I just had a master of it. And I, I really only stopped to raise my daughter. I had a daughter and I raised her. I raised her up and kind of, you know, fell out of love. I was still telling stories about that, but I kind of fell out of love with it. And then I met my love, my wife, my wife. And she was just like, you need to start writing again and get back on the horse. And, and that's all I want to do now. You know, I'm very close to making it my career. You know, I've done six this year. I, I want to do one a month next year. Like it's, it's crazy. I want to figure out how to do it. It's just doing that and having a day job and doing it. I have a passion to write and tell stories. And that's, those are the ones that I publish. I am in, a lot of other people are publishing my work too, that I write shorts and this and that. So it's crazy. That's fantastic. That's really I'm nice. I'm really happy to hear that. That sounds so exciting. Like you're just you're just about there, and I think you have the talent to go all the way, my friend. I oh. I'm I'm really excited for you. Thank you. Yeah. So great. Yeah, and, and and I know we can't talk about things right now, but you've got big things coming that are all that are already in the right steps and. Uh, I'm super stoked. Your man. future is bright, Mr. Gibbs. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And I'm, I'm excited to do this with you guys. I'm excited to this book. Look at it. I'm, you guys I'm want stoked. This. It's so yes. pretty. I can't wait to get my hands on a copy. Look at, it's so Tim, right? Let, let me just show, just for an example, for, for people's references because they're your fans, the difference of my covers. You know, here's here's a Travis cover, one I, would, I paid for. Uh, another cover. Very good. Very good art. Even this, this is this is the punk rock as I get. You know, this is this is my yeah. Mother. That's that's a cool one, yeah. And then uh, live free or die, mother F, uh, die, motherfucker. You know, get the, <laughs> I hope I can swear because I did. Uh, yeah, that's right. And then uh, you know, Tim gives me this. He's just like bright, oh. <laughs> which I love it. I love it. It's, it's great. That's awesome. For those who can't tell in the background, that's the old man in the mountain kind of kind of behind all of the text in the, in the back back there. Travis, I asked Travis if there was certain imagery he wanted. He's like, yes, old man in the mountain. Let's, let's do something with it. So Yeah, that's, I love it. So I love it. We may make a virgin one day, too. If I ever have to go back to print, take it, take all the stuff off it and just make a virgin. Because I think just the, the old man looks great. Oh, right on. That's awesome, man. But I'm going to get all you right. some, Jim. I'm also going to get you yeah. some... Uh, some uh, some of the ones that you can punkify that you can draw on, and we've got some blank covers for you too, so you can draw your own stuff and get customs from Tim. All that's right awesome. on, right on. That's rad, man. I appreciate it. No that's problem. awesome. All right, well, Travis, I don't want to take up much more of your time, man. But once again, thank you for joining us tonight, and thank you for helping me uh, announce this this uh, cover that I did for your book. I'm super stoked to be part of it, and I just I, I'm I have a lot of gratitude, and just thank you so much. Yes. Yes. No problem. Thank you. 
Uh, feel free to stick around if you want. Um, we've got another guest coming on here. We're going to show off some more cool stuff. So, or you could bail and just hang out in the chat. Well, I want to see this cool stuff. I may bail, but like I always like. Cool I mean, he stuff. he watched me run it all in every corner of the house. <laughs> Gretchen ran this back and forth through the different spots, and we were trying to get the and Wi-Fi. It's not light, yeah. man. <laughs> right. It, it, it's crazy because I'm doing so when I do these Cthulhu ones, they're big, right? So this the 70 people who have contributed, this 35. So there's a, literally two other teams running two shows right now. And like three of them tried to get on this show with me because I have a, like a list of the things I'm doing because they need to know where I'm yeah. at. This is like, I'll join this one. I was like, I don't think you can. Like, <laughs> it's very specific <laughs> me. They're like, well, who's going to run those shows? I was like, you guys going to have to figure it out. <laughs> like, that, that sounds like a you problem. Right? Because I'm over there like running, steering the ship, making sure it stays up. Because I'm just like, I'm hanging out with Gretchen and Tim tonight. So they'll figure it out. If they mess it up and I lose backers, you know, uh, I'll, I'll get oh, oh, don't, put, don't you put that on me, sir. <laughs> no, no, no. I just saw the thing spin. It increased. So we're going the right direction. <laughs> okay. Right on. Awesome. All right, man. Well, uh, once again, uh, we will definitely be talking soon. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, guys. Oh, he's a doll. He, Travis is the best. Yes. Seriously. Okay. Now, uh, the next guy I have up. Uh, who's been waiting ever been so waiting patiently. waiting so very patiently. Bless and your heart. I just want to say, David, thank, thank you. you. For Hello. So no, no, it's all been, good. You've literally been here for like almost 40 minutes, and I'm I'm sorry that you've been sitting around so no, long. No, I've been enjoying the show. Yeah. 15 minutes of that was just a bunch of BS. Us struggling. Yes. That's how it is normally at our house, but there's not a camera in front of us trying to figure our shit out. Oh. So, sorry. Oh, no. I, I oh, also... Leanne is here. Oh, hi. Say hello hi. to Leanne. Gretchen, your glasses are so darn cute. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so this is uh, David Booth. He and his wife, Maggie, run... Artist Amigos, a uh, amazing print company out on the West Coast in Washington. And yes, yes. <laughs> Gretchen's got this giant box right here that showed up today. And, I had uh, to drag this in the house. Yes. And so this this box is full of things that, uh, you know, once again, I'm, I'm hoping to get into MegaCon. I have not heard yet. <laughs> they took our money, but they cashed out. I have not been denied yet so. either. Okay. Um, so this is uh, something that uh, when uh, David and Maggie uh, said, hey, this is a possibility. If people are interested, I was like, hell yes, let's do this thing. Yeah. So we're going to open up this guy here. Let me scoot this back. I think that's awesome. Here. Yeah, he uh, he said, honey, I bought these. And I looked at him and I said, I fully support your decision. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. Oh my lord. All right. There it is. Okay. okay. All right. My so life flash this very my long eyes. box that you guys are only seeing part of. Very, very well packaged. Very well packaged. Okay. Item number one. Mm. All right. Now, nobody, I mean, I put it on Instagram that I was doing this stuff, but I don't think anybody really expected that I was going to. Pull the trigger. You were actually gonna do the thing. Oh my god, that's the coolest freaking thing in the whole wide world. Oh. First of all, before I show it off, this is amazingly. Oh shit, that's cool. <laughs> I'm impressed, David. Like I gotta admit, Thank I'm you. impressed with the seamlessness of the covering oh, and all oh sorts of stuff. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna need a new hobby now because I am going to have to have a Sam skateboard! <laughs> well, skateboard decks, guys. Shut the front door! I, I don't even know if I can get it all, yeah. Yep. So... That this, is... <laughs> this is just number one. Oh my god. I'm really impressed with the way that came out, and the image is so that is high quality, gorgeous, so high. We're quality. gonna have to take some pictures of these because we have the laptop camera and the overhead living room yeah. lights on. So we'll take some good pictures and post them. But this is absolutely, oh my god! So this is I can't uh, believe how beautiful this is. For those who can't tell, this is half Sam. Like you've got his lo his lollipop right here, and it's half his face. We can, yeah, it's yeah. totally obvious. Yeah. It's All right. So good. Oh my god. All right, item number two. 
my heart is palpitating. Uh, oh, yes. So this next item is a, a character that I had never heard of until I was at MegaCon last year. And there was two cosplayers of this new manga character I'd never seen before in my life, but there was two people dressed as him, so I knew he had to be somebody. And then when we went to another little con and there was more kids, more, like, yeah. these things are multiplying like yeah. gremlins. And his, his figure is so weird that I couldn't fit him on a regular piece of art, so I had to fit Chainsaw Man. <laughs> I gotta go all the <laughs> way back here. I had to fit He's Chainsaw Man. He's a very popular Man. one. Yes. I, I'm I'm old, David. I don't know these things. No, yeah, so, I, I uh, probably heard about him around the time you did, honestly. Right. So man. chainsaw man, like how the it was just this is the only thing I could do with him was stick him on a that's big old a, wide piece that's of wood. A if you know, you know situation. <laughs> yeah. But the colors and the it's it's just yes. So absolutely beautiful work. The, the print quality of this is astounding. Yes. I'm not gonna lie. It's just well, so well done. I appreciate it. It's it's interesting being in the printing business because it's your amazing artwork, and we're just trying to like bring the quality to put it into print or into sticker vinyl or on a skateboard the best we can. The, the thing of it is, is that is that you guys make my stuff actually look good. Like it looks, and, and I only mean that in the aspect of like people see it on a computer screen or they see it on Instagram or whatever, but, really what, it but when it's printed out, people are like, this looks, this looks like so much brighter and, and, and so much more lively than it does on the computer. And I have to agree that, <gasps> that, that. Oh you, my God, that's gorgeous. And you guys use such quality materials. definitely try i mean i'm not a skateboard aficionado by any means but this is nice like this is really sturdy wood it's i mean this is beautiful yeah it could make a gorgeous charcuterie board <laughs> <laughs> just get some salamis on there it'll be beautiful but look how it, i mean it's just so it's so shiny that's and, gorgeous yeah and uh you had sent me a clip of when you guys were printing things out and so I got to ask, how long does it take to, you were printing them out kind of side by side. How long did it take to print out, say, like three of them side by side like that? Um, I think the biggest um, time factor in that is like the prep before the actual print to make sure everything, you want to make sure everything is the right size, the right DPI, and then put it in the file. Uh, and you know, once you hit print, it's, um, you know, it, it, probably takes maybe like 10, 15 minutes for it to print oh, out. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. But then there, I mean, there's a little bit more prep after that because then we laminate it and then we cut it to size and then we lay it out on the board and then we have to make sure everything lines up correctly. Gotcha. And then there's, and then there's more, uh, more lining up and then the actual application happens then. <laughs> so Sure. How long, how steps. long? Let's say, let's say from, uh, let's say from getting it off the printer and finalizing a board, how long would it take for one board? Do you think? Um, well, it, it, the actual process, it'll probably take like a day or so. Um, that's crazy. Be, be, well, only because the inks uh, have to dry, mm -hmm. but I mean, uh, a couple hours, um, to make sure everything's fine from, uh, start to finish. Okay. So. Very that's, cool. That's I, you got to show this one. So this, this is number four. This is my corner box here. My Iron Man corner box that I did. There we go. That's so cool. And I, I want you to know a lot of love also went into that one because of the, uh, the very straight vertical lines that have to be matched up to the board. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. It is uh, these these black these black lines on the side here on the side of the mm -hmm. box. Yeah, I appreciate that. In other <laughs> words, you had your name called many times. <laughs> no, 
Yeah, I know. That's it wasn't, okay, wasn't too bad. Dave. I do the same thing. I say the same things about him. So I'm yeah. like, why? Why did you have to have it uh, like it's, that? I'm, it's okay. It's all right. You know what? But it looks you know, spot on and it looks flawless. If it it's means gorgeous. you made a quality product like this, you can cuss me out all you want. Because this I is am so all I am all for putting art first and figuring out how to do it later. Like okay. I want it to look good. Those I mean, sharp. I'm astounded, truly. All right, here's my, here's my last one. And of course, it's it's kind of a, a staple piece in in all of my all of my stuff. Now, I <laughs> I used to be able to sell this piece online, and but there's a Netflix show coming out now, and Netflix took all of my images of this character offline. So it's an iconic. So it's, yeah. So Usagi Ojimbo, uh, a lot of oh. people have probably seen him on my on my banners. Um, this is this is one of my favorite pieces I've ever done. So I use it for a lot of my my merchandising and stuff like that. So I'm I'm glad to have this guy out there now. Unfortunately, he can't go on my Etsy because because Etsy <laughs> told me you can no longer put Usagi Ojimbo on your Etsy. So that's so. a con exclusive. <laughs> yeah, very cool. I have had similar uh, issues. Yeah, in that regard as well. Yes. So, but gosh, it looks so good. I mean, people are loving it in the live stream. Yes. Yep. These are just great. Those are, oh, those man. are gonna look good on somebody's wall. Yes, that's the thing. You know what? I would be happy if somebody wanted to really just just use it and 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 wreck it. I'm okay with that because at least they're getting enjoyment. <laughs> you want it to you be know? loved in I want any to... form you feel it necessary. Exactly. I wanted I want it to be loved. I want people to grind on Usagi's face over here, you know what I'm saying? Like Oh no. Sort of you say that what I, weird. You say that what I, think weird. You just said. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. We're 7 I, years old. Yeah, yeah. That's forget strike that. I can, didn't mean that. Can I put wheels on this and then like Ride down the driveway. It's a real skateboard, Cause, yes. Because that's all I could do. Get some trucks and some wheels and you'll be all right. This is gorgeous. Um, I am wait, I'm holding it upside down. I am impressed. I am I am impressed. These are absolutely beautiful, beautifully crafted. I am proud to uh sell these. Like you're proud to sell these. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like I'm not like, oh god, no, I'm ready to see this. Like I am I'm gonna like set these up with some good lighting and take some pictures of these because these are i i can't even this this cameras don't show how beautiful they are yeah that's what i'm saying there so we're definitely going to so take pretty. pictures put them up on instagram also there's uh, uh something else here that i want to oh, show yes. um they were messing around with some paper one day and they're like hey we just made a print of, of one of your things here see the see the <gasps> shimmer oh right, that's so. cool so you guys have this certain uh shimmer paper and you uh this is one. This is my poison apple print, and you're like, "Hey, I just put it on like this shimmery paper. We'll send it mm -hmm. to you next time." And I did the camera. The camera sucks. It's not doing a good job, but it's there's, gorgeous. There's a there's a very nice kind of iridescence, uh, iridescence to it. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, very pretty. I really like that, and it works well with this kind of neon wow. artwork. Yeah, we'll we, have we to found we found that the sh our shimmer paper has a similar effect to prints being printed on metal but without the added weight of artists you know having to have these done in a specific way so it, it somewhat replicates that in uh paper form. yeah you can definitely see the light catching it it's very cool looking. and then you sent me something that I, I asked for before when i was uh, chatting with maggie one time sent me a magnet oh yeah so if any, if everybody can, uh, let me see if I can. Keep it. Let me see if I can keep it still. For the if people want to go back on the live stream, they can uh, hit the QR code. I don't know if it's too blurry or not. We're um, a hot mess. We, yes, uh, but artist amigos printing on Instagram. Be sure to go check them out. Artist under under artist amigos underscore printing definitely for for all of our artist friends if you're looking for a company to go to to get all your prints these are an artist oriented print company yes. and so they put put your put your art first instead of just trying to get you your dollars so that's a thing that i've also mentioned before on instagram live streams is that this company themselves uh are super artist friendly like if you need something printed out this is the place to go um, oh, thank you. Because thank you I've worked that. with other major companies here in my area in Florida, and you have to meet a certain minimum uh, to even start making it worth your dollar, if you will. 
but these guys work with you. Uh, they make it, they make it affordable and, um, it, you know, and you don't have to order a, a, a case of prints. Yeah. You, you know don't have to order saying? a thousand. Copies. You don't have to order a thousand copies so, of something. So. so any of our artist friends who are looking for a, a new company, check them out because they are amazing to work with. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, and I'm not going to go into pricing or anything like that, but things like this, contact them. Super affordable. Yeah. Super affordable. Yep. And so uh, they're happy to work with new artists. And I know that uh, you guys always kick things out pretty quick, but I also know that you're building up quite a clientele at the same time. So um, even still, you know, you got, you got these to me super fast yeah. and this, this is a freaking, this isn't just paper. This is an object, you know? So very good. Uh, yep. I appreciate well, we all, we all we appreciate you guys and uh, working, you know, with us and uh, giving us a chance. We've been so happy to make prints and cards and skateboards and it's been fantastic. Yeah. 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 I'm excited to see what else. Well, I've already got the uh, ideas. We have a wish list. We have a wish a list of things. Accumulating. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There, there, we do also have some things down the line that I don't think I can tell you about yet, but I okay. think that you might appreciate when I can. So, okay. Cool. All right. Fair well, enough. Look forward to that for sure. That's awesome. Yes. Um, yeah. So those are, I'm so stoked for these. Like part of me kind of doesn't want to sell them. I just want to hang them up on my own wall. <laughs> you know I mean? Right. It's, they're very cool. This is the biggest I've seen, uh, not the Usagi, but this is the biggest I've seen like, you know, pieces like this. This is the first time this has ever been printed. Yeah. This guy. Nice. You know? Nice. So man, I'm so stoked. So David, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being so patient. Oh, uh, and, my pleasure. And just sitting here while I unbox things. Uh, um, cool. Let's see here. Let's answer some questions here real quick. Um, will you have the boards of MegaCon? I want to see them in person. That's the plan. These were supposed to be a MegaCon ex exclusive thing. Um, I have to get word that I'm actually in MegaCon. We're we're, uh, we're 90% sure we'll be there. So. 90, yeah, like 90% sure. I haven't been told no, uh, and they have uh, taken my money. So I'm hoping that means I'm in. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think that happened to us one time, and I I, I think uh, like I couldn't hear back, and, and I was like, hey guys, I saw that my check was cashed, and uh, uh, for us, I don't think they ever got back. I was really like, well, let's we're going, <laughs> and, and we were right. in. Okay. When that happened to us. Gotcha. We're going by the no news is good news. Exactly. So mm -hmm. exactly. So we're hoping MegaCon is going to be big for us this year with the comic book and with the uh, merchandise like the skateboards and stuff like that. And so that awesome. uh, we're great. We so appreciate what you and Maggie do. Seriously, I didn't know you guys when you lived in Florida. You guys, they right? lived in Florida, and then they moved to Washington. They moved all the way to the <laughs> West Coast. Yeah. And that's the thing is that like when I get prints made. Uh, they'll get them to me within. It's amazing. Uh, it's so fast it they'll get them to me from the West Coast. Even when I was working with major print I, companies I here, I can't. I can't they, send they a letter to the fast. other side of the state and it get there in time. That's what I'm saying. Across the country. That's what I'm saying. Yes. So well, yeah, we'll have definitely. to. Well, we'll have to take a trip out to see you guys. Uh, one of these cons. Yes. Do you, do you guys still have family back down here? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. My, okay. my side of the family lives there for sure. Uh, a lot of people have to waitlist emails. So if you, yeah, that's what I heard the waitlist for MegaCon. Exactly. Um, but yeah, they agree. You got to come back to Florida, man. So you and you and Maggie take a trip back. We'll uh, do a park. I got a futon you can crash on if you yeah. need it. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. In our comic book room. Futon. Yeah. It's in, the, it's in the comic book room. That's all I got. I for saw you. those arcade <laughs> cabinets. Yes. Yes. You are, we're adult children. Yeah. So we have all of oh, the toys. Good. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So uh, tell Maggie we said hello. Tell her we said also thank you for her work on these as well. And uh, once again, Absolutely. we really appreciate everything you guys do. And, uh, you know, we're going to use you for all of this sort of stuff yep. uh, in the future, moving forward, you know, whatever. So you're our guy. You, you are our people. You're our guy. <laughs> we appreciate it. We just try to be solution people. So. We right definitely on. Appreciate you guys it. do a great job at it. We appreciate it. you. So, David, thank you again. And uh, once again, tell Maggie we said hello. And uh, we'll definitely be talking to you guys soon. Will do. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Those are so sick. I am really excited. These are so wicked. 
I really love the Sam one. Like I kind of, yes. I kind of want to. Keep so I didn't this. tell you about the Sam one. I was going to do a Universal Monsters one. Yeah. Um, but even when I was talking with, uh, I was either David or Maggie. I said, "What do you think about the way it's laid out?" And you know, I had two, I had three green skin people, and then I had a wolf man. And like it kind of throws it off a little bit. And I was going to wait till I made the Dracula, and I said, "Screw it." Sam's the way to go. This is, Sam gorgeous. is always a big seller. Yeah, so. I love it. I love yeah. it so much. That's yeah. cool. So I am stoked for that. That's awesome. I am stoked for those. You do have something to unbox too. I do. Where did you put it? Let us do. Is it over there? Yeah, it's over here. Okay. Because okay. we're so organized. We're so organized. See, I even got my couch blanket over here. My cuddle up on the yeah. couch blanket. So much stuff. Goodness gracious. Oh, I'm gonna have, I, have to, I have to take a drink. Hold on. All right. So what's this? Uh, that is uh, from Nooligan. Nooligan. Um, While you're here. over there, grab that Did you have thing. the issue before with them? Uh, Mega, yeah, so I've had it. Last year was a whole issue with Megacon as well. Megacon, Megacon tries last year. Last year Because it's the trials of the Megacon. Last year, the, the thing. Megacon took, uh, cashed my check. And then lost your And then lost my application. They cashed my check, but they didn't have an application to go along with it until I contacted them. And they're like, oh, oh, it was you that we took your money from. Okay, yeah. Oh, it yeah, was you're you. right. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, we'll be at Spookala for the first time this year. It'll be our very first horror con. So you guys are, are fortunate because you're in Orlando. You're in that kind of central area. Um, I can't remember the gentleman's name. He came to me when I was at Central Florida Comic Con, asked me if I wanted to be in, in part of Spookala, but it, it's too far north. I'd have to get a hotel room. And, you know, you just, I'm eating into, I'm basically not making any money at that point. You know what I'm saying? So, but uh, at some point in time, I do want to go to, uh, hopefully maybe next year we'll do Spookala. When I'm, when I'm more prepared, if you will. Yeah. We we didn't understand the assignment. Yeah. Uh, Spooky Empire with Gretchen's artwork. We're hoping to get into Spooky Empire here pretty soon. Um, she does a lot of the macabre sort of things. I like skulls. Don't open that yet. Okay. Don't open it yet. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we just pay it while we're at the show. Since see that would have been the smart. That would have been do. the smart move. We're that not smart, the smart move. We don't make wise decisions. Yes. Okay. All so right. for those of you who don't know, uh, one of my favorite artists is out of California, um, and his name he goes by the name Nooligan. Uh, his name is Hainanu Hainanu Solke, and uh, he does amazing artwork. We have his artwork all over the house. Uh, a lot of times on the live streams, I'll do an unpacking of what he calls a pack of smokes, which are basically his own version of trading cards. But he, he released a new print, uh, and I had to snatch it up. I had to snatch it up, so we'll see. Okay. Can I open Gretchen it? has no idea what it is. Can I open it I'm now? stoked for it. Am I allowed to open uh, go it? Go ahead. Okay. Oh. It's pretty badass, right? That's cool. So this was released on the day that uh, the, the week that the new Batman movie came out. Now, That's so cool. Now I guess I was not within the first fifty people of buying this because it would have come with a uh, movie Catwoman smoke card. Oh, lame. Yeah. So, but as uh, we've talked about before, his uh, signature things are putting Chuck Taylors on the characters. Um, you probably can't tell here, but it. Um, no, he doesn't have the uh, cartoon gloves, does he? He's got tied up for like boxing. Boxing, yeah. That is so, gorgeous, though. That is really cool. So this is the new piece that we got from him. I'm kind of bummed. Oh, his number, what does it say, 57? 57, I missed was, it by I this see, much. I was seven people too late on catching that. But uh, it, it kind of has this hazy, almost like a spray paint stencil look, but you can tell that it's not. I really like it a lot. That's yeah. really cool. He's got a cat around his neck, for those who can't tell. It's a cat kind of sitting on his shoulders. That's so, really cool. There we go. Thank you. Yes. Oh, it's for me, right? Yeah, it's totally Thank for you. you. I claim all the Batman things in the house. Right. I know you do. That's cool. Uh, I like that a lot, babe. Yes. That's really awesome. It's very well done. Uh, let's see. So I haven't seen Batman yet, 
And not we that don't I, get out. not that I'm a cheapskate, but I'm waiting till it comes out on HBO Max only because we haven't really made our way back to the theaters yet. Uh, we still love going to the movies all the time. Yeah. Well, so. and I can't sit still, so it's hard for me to sit through a movie. So I have to be able to take intermission. Gretchen is a horrible person to watch movies with. I'm we'll terrible. sit here and watch and something. And I'll talk to the. And she'll get up and clean the kitchen, <laughs> or or go pet the rabbits, or something like I that. I can't. I can't sit still. That's just. That's just my own personal. Yeah. Like ADHD right. moment. So I just have issues. Okay. Uh. Well, we're pushing an hour. Do you want to keep okay. going, or do you want to? What do you want to do? We can keep going. You, want to keep you going? have things to show. Yes. So, Did you lose them? This kitchen, this whole living room is a mess now. You like threw things around, like <sighs> Rip Taylor. So much paper. There, there's things on, under the papers. Yeah. Oh my lord, it's like Christmas over okay. here. So Good now, God. now we're this just is hot. we're just two hot messes. Don't mind us. Yes, it's my artist Abe shirt. Yes, we love Abe. I am a little embarrassed about how much Abe. Lopez stuff I have. We have a lot of artist house. Abe stuff, <laughs> uh, haunted mansion stuff hanging in the kitchen. Uh, we've got a hat box ghost. We got Catwoman, like the cat portrait when you go down the hallway. Um, and I've got stuff sprinkled everywhere. I've got she, like she's got I've the, got holiday po portraits that I put up. I got yeah. like Christmas prints, and I have and you have the full set prints. of these stretch portraits. I do. Over there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we're big Abe fans for sure. Right. Um, let's see here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Kristen said we can't count the first 15 minutes. That's true. That didn't count. Okay, so we're only 45 minutes in? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, we live in a town with a lot of old people, so <laughs> the theater is surprisingly empty. Ah, like we went to see Empire Strikes Back, and there was no one else. Nice. Jeez, that's awesome. Yeah, we... Um, I, I don't have a high tolerance for middle school kids too much anymore. Right. And, and our theaters are usually full of middle school children. I yeah. love them. They're going through a rough time. They're discovering who they are and developing the hormones. <laughs> but damn, I want to put all of their heads in the toilet and flush repeatedly. <laughs> all right. So for <laughs> our friends who appreciate comic books, you guys know that we like to do some of these uh, blind packages, if you will. Yes. And so I picked these two out. One, well, both of these are hot items. These two packages I picked up right now. They look identical. They're DC books from the, the back. They got, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. These are the backs, okay? These two packages I picked up right now were less than $9 a piece, okay? And then it looks like there's one, two, three, four books in each of them, okay? So that makes, you know, two something a comic. Still less than cover About price. About half price. These two packages right now are getting sold on eBay, as I is, for like 60 bucks. Wow. Because of what is in them. What's in them? You ready? Yeah. Speaking of the Batman movie. Yeah. This is one of the books that the Batman movie was based off of. Okay. And this is a reissue of it with a movie-based cover. Okay. Okay. So this first book. Oh, that's cool. Is the Batman Long Halloween. Now, it's got, it's got this uh, movie-oriented cover on it. This book was ex exclusive to people who went and saw the movie in IMAX. Okay. This book is now going for like almost 20 bucks by itself. Oh, wow. Go get it at Walmart put with three extra comics for like nine bucks. Okay. You're already going to make. It's a deal. Yeah. For my collector friends out there, you're already making your money back on that. So, but let's see what else is in here. Okay. Okay. Show me, show me, show me. All right. So, also, if you have HBO Max um, on their DC hub, their DC uh, movie hub, there is a two-part animated series, uh, animated movie called The Long Halloween, which is based off of that story. Right. So, The Long Halloween was written by Jeff Loeb, drawn by Tim Sale. Jeff Loeb was the art teacher in uh, North Carolina or something like that. To the guy who directed the new Batman movie. Well, there you go. Yeah. It's like Kevin Bacon. It, it's full circle, right? So, let's see. We got... Oh, she's talking about being... Oh, Artist Abe is such a sweetheart. He really is. So, Abe gave me a lot of advice when it came to doing cons. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Uh, side story, because Abe is a sweetheart. He gifted Trace an original Harley he did when uh, we were near him at a con and it's so refreshing when artists 
So Gretchen used to do a penguin cosplay. Yeah, female came, uh, penguin cosplay. I did. And I, we, I did this like penguin slash pageant winner slash pinup girl yeah. cosplay. And so we were at his booth one day and he's like, hey, hold on one second. And he drew a sketch of her in her cosplay. And it's in her uh, crafting room. Yes. Yeah. He's a doll. He's an absolute doll. So, okay. So once again, this set of books, you've got this reissue of Long Halloween with the Batman movie cover on it. Once again, this is, if you were to buy this, you could sell it and pay for all of these books right offhand. Okay. Uh, also, go watch the Long Halloween on HBO Max if you've got it. It's a great story. Next up. Oh. Okay. Next up. It looks cool. We've got the World of Krypton number one. They're always changing up the, the stories of Krypton and Superman's parents. They can't find one they like. Right. So they keep trying. So the world. Of, yeah, I like the costume, the weird costume designs they give these characters too. All right. Next up we have, ooh, so this has Tim Sale's art on it. It's a long Halloween, it's a long Halloween special uh, edition. It's special. It's a, it's a one shot kind of set in the world of this storyline. It's special. So there you go. That's pretty cool. Very cool. I dig it. I like the pumpkin bat signal thing going on. And then we have a... Oh, what's happening here? Then we have a issue of uh, Superman. This reminds me of the Superman movie I like the best where Superman splits into multiple personalities. So that is his son, Jonathan Kent. He is the new Superboy, Superman, if you will. That They've been jumping around timelines if you will so there's that there's that so that's the four in that series very cool now this next book here oh matt popped in he just uh landed in miami ah it is a music week in miami this week dude nice um let's see here i enjoy the miniseries a lot better than the on ongoing usually at least with marvel and dc comics i really only look forward to long stories with indie stuff from Image or Dark Horse. I, yeah, <laughs> I totally I, get I that. Agree with you I totally that. get that because the ongoing series is if they do a writer shift, an artist shift, something like that, uh, it can really it can really throw off your vibe with the book. Sure. I totally get that. All right. You see what's on this one? I do see what's on that one. So this is, once again, um, this is a this is also a new mini series coming out. I didn't cut that very well. You did didn't I? actually cut the plastic for fear of slicing into something else. Yeah. There we go. All right. Not me. I cut that with reckless I know, abandon. I know you do. Just call me the slasher. So this book is called Batman Killing Time. Okay. And this is uh, the movie cover. So very cool. This is a mini series. I like that a lot. This is a, a mini series that goes that uh, starts out. And I appreciate the uh, kind of just easiness of the story. Mm -hmm. It's Catwoman. Penguin and Riddler getting together to do a bank heist. Oh, simple, easy peasy, but yet uh, already issue number one. I really enjoyed this issue. So Batman Killing Time number one just came out, and then we have up. Oh, then oh, okay, it's not all the same. Okay, we have another World of. I Krypton. was about to say. I know we have another World of Krypton number one. Uh, we have a different cover to a Batman Long Halloween special. Well, there we go. We got multiple covers going on. Yes. Another two. Well, you did buy two of the same thing. So they're right. not completely identical, but they're a little different. Right. That's, That's really cool. I actually like that cover better. It's another Tim Sale cover. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have uh, Batman Adventures Continues. Ooh. This is a cool cover. This is a really cool cover. So this is uh, kind of the ongoing of the animated series from the 90s. Yeah. So I really like that cover. It's really cool looking. So we got, um, so I think you're really going to enjoy the Batman. I love seeing Gotham's villains that aren't just Joker and Harley. I agree. I agree. So I love Joker and Harley, but there are... I, I am. I see Batman having kind of a couple story arcs. Like they usually have, like 
we have the eccentric villains, and then we have the mafia stuff. Yes. And and usually there's kind of one or the other, but there's so many fun eccentric villains. And it's like, yeah, I know the Joker's kind of his main pain in the ass, and then there's Harley just being Harley. And that's all fine and dandy, but like, can we have more Poison Ivy? Can we have some Riddler? Super like, underused. Poison Ivy is super underused. So much more. I I just, uh, well, Poison Ivy is my absolute favorite DC villain, and I'm just sitting there going, why? Why can't we have more of her? She's so cool. So uh, I, I already know like the tone and the vibe of the new Batman movie. You know what I would like to see is, and I know it's going to sound lame, but let me explain. Okay. I would like to see the ventriloquist. Okay, with with Scarface, mm -hmm. but used in like a jigsaw kind of way from Saw. That would be cool. I would I would enjoy that a lot. Right now you're because thinking, you, saw, you saw what was the little puppet? Was it Billy on the on the tricycle? The little jigsaw the little puppet. Jigsaw like yeah. If, imagine Scarface rolling in and like talking. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it, but there's a guy that's actually doing it from the, behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that would be a really cool twist to it. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what we got here. Um, eventually, I want to finish up my own kind of hit David and Maggie up to print, and they could call commission friends very. Oh, that would be Ooh. cool. This girl's got some ideas in her She life. does. I love seeing Poison Ivy in the animated series. I agree. Like, the way her and Harley are, they're yeah. just so, like, they're very connected. That's, that's just love. That's just yes. love and adoration. That is you know? that is true, true love. For as, as psycho true. as they are, it's like the purest form of love you can see. I love see. it. I yeah. love I love all of it. It's right. so great. Oh yeah, Randy wants some egghead. Yes. Egghead. <laughs> Why don't we do egghead with zombie Vincent Price? Zombie Vincent Price egghead. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That'd um, be amazing. I would totally watch that. <laughs> I would sit down and watch that. We need some Mad Hatter. We need um, um we need more of that kooky Mad, stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mad Hatter. They da they dabbled in the Mad Hatter in the Gotham TV show and they did okay, but I think they could do better. They did, didn't they? I forgot about that yeah, guy. It was very forgettable. Yes. <laughs> yes. When they start they started doing a poison ivy in that as well, but they kinda of, didn't like what they kinda of screwed the they character kind of, a little they bit. They kinda of, they went one direction, they said, Oh shit, we don't want to go that way. Let's go right. this way. And it was like the damage is done, y'all. The right? damage is done. All right. Well, that that is all I have for you guys tonight. I know we kind of skimmed right through those. Thank uh, you for um, dealing with our rough start this morning, and or give a thumbs up for us not being able to handle our life. Yes, <laughs> we really do appreciate. We're gonna have to call Spectrum on that one for sure. Um, if you are interested in any of Tim's artwork, you can check out tvartworks.com. Um, you can also check out his Etsy. You can see all his cool stuff there. Um, if you'd like to see any of my artwork, well, you can kind of go check out my fun cupcake emporium, but I post a lot on my Instagram and social medias too. Let me see if I can figure out how to do things. Down one. Down one. All, all the way over. All, all the way, way over. over. Down. Down. This is banners or, or uh, go down to uh, brand. Okay. There you go. Right there. There we are. There we go. Yay! We so you can check out my Instagram. I post a lot of stuff there. Um, I do make cool tumblers, and I'm always taking commissions for those. So if that's something you're interested in, you can contact me in the DMs on Instagram, and I'll be happy to chit-chat with you about it. And we do have one of them fancy couples Instagrams where, you know, like we can talk about our life and anything having to do with our YouTube and all that stuff. You're going to find that right there. Right there, right. don't you know? <laughs> I'm not even from here. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, guys, again, so thank, thank you. you so much for joining us. We want to thank um, our special guest tonight. We're, yeah, we want to thank Travis and we want to thank David for popping in yes. and uh, sharing some good news with us and um, super excited for, for what we got coming up. And uh, uh, Travis has got cool things coming up with his, and I'm, I'm not just saying that, like he's got cool things coming up with his books. You're going to see the name soon. You know, yeah, keep an um, eye out for that name. Go find him on the social medias and all that good stuff because yep. he is going somewhere. And uh, David and uh, his wife Maggie have been they, I mean, look at these things, they, they are fantastic, did an amazing to work job. With, and we highly recommend any of our artist friends if you're looking for a printer, check them out. I mean, they don't do just skateboards, they they do no, prints, they do, all of our they prints do are now stickers, from Artist Amigos, they do magnets, yes. 
Like, He's, they're actually working with us. They're an at-home project we're working on too for TVR Works. Yeah. So um, we're we're gonna stay tuned for that one. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, if you enjoyed our live stream, sorry about our rough start. Such a train wreck at the beginning. Usually it's not this chaotic, but if you want to consider subscribing to our channel, we would be forever grateful. It's completely free. And you can actually hit a notification button. It'll let you know whenever we post a video and be like, oh man, this dumpster fire is coming. You better come check <laughs> it out. So, um, But thank you guys for being so patient with us. We really just appreciate you. We love every single one of you. You are all very dear friends to us. And um, so we're going to call it a night. Yeah. And we're we're going to wrap it up because apparently we have not figured out how to adult yet. So we're going with that. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we will be back uh, next Monday. It might be a video. It might be a vlog. I don't of, know. It's going to be something. <laughs> right? It might be a vlog of uh, how we spent Gretchen's birthday. Yes. We uh, need to get our Wi-Fi situation I'm just remembering out, so. that that's a video I have to put together. So. Oh, yeah. We did. We spent my birthday at Epcot with Ann and Alex and them. Yeah. We, did, we took videos. So maybe they want to see the Flower and Garden Festival before it's over. Right. All right, guys. Mm -mm. Well, regardless, in some capacity, we will be back here next Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern, hanging out with you guys, whether it's a vlog, we'll do a live chat. We'll do something. Or we'll be back with a live stream and we'll figure something out We'll to do, do something for you guys. We'll have a good time. Yeah. That's all that matters. So. All right, guys. Well, we will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>